Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Chase Elliott's Napa Auto Parts Children's Healthcare of Atlanta Chevy from 2022. So always take a quick look at the box. Once again, generic crappy next-gen box. Nothing to take a look at there. Made a total of 1,116 of these things. Here is the car itself. Just a beautiful and fun paint scheme right here. This is the second year they've done this. This once again ran at the Southern 500 at Darlington. Which I question because, as I just said, it is the Children's Healthcare of Atlanta paint scheme. So, I don't know. Why not run it at, I don't know, Atlanta? <laughs> like, why are we running them at Darlington? If you run them in Atlanta, then can't you get, or at least try to get, the child that designed this car to the track? Then they can see their own design racing on track. I think that'd be fun. I don't know. It just seems weird that they keep picking Darlington for this. Especially because, you know, Chase Elliott won the July Darlington race last year. Or, sorry, the July Atlanta race last year. So, we could have gotten this paint scheme in victory lane if it ran Atlanta. I don't know. Let's do a quick 360 this car. As you see, this car is just beautiful. I love the look of this car. How can you not like the doggo car? Like, just, it has sweet colors, really unique colors, a bunch of pictures of dogs and paw prints and everything all over it. Like, this is just really cool. You remember the first year they did this, it was the black and gold puzzle piece car. I almost got the 124 of that too, but I never did. But as soon as I saw this one, I'm like, I think I really want this one. I just love having a dog car like this. This just looks really cool. Anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Napa and a big picture of the dog. I love that they did that. They didn't put a huge Napa logo right here. They actually let the kid have the hood too. So I think that's really cool. Got flowers, got paw prints, all that. Got Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, number 9, and Hendrick Motorsports. Down the side, you have Napa Auto Parts. You got A-Shock, Lumar, Hooters, and Unifirst down there. Said, as you can see, picture of dog bones. You got multiple different dog photos. and Or not photos, drawings, I mean. Just, there's so many different dogs on this car. Just fantastic. The whole car is just covered. Like I said, there's no, there, no inch of this car doesn't have some sort of detail to it. See all the paw prints all the way around, the A post and B post and stuff. Just fantastic. On the C post, you have Kelly Blue Book, Vaveline, and that memorial logo. I think somebody told me finally what that logo is, but I forget again. <laughs> you see all of Chase Elliott's winter stickers from last year went on that tear during the summer. You see on the B post, you have Exalta, Cincinnati, Freightliner, Hooters, Mac Tools, Seaman, and Service. That must be a newer sponsor. I don't remember ever seeing that in a car before. This did run in the playoffs, so it does have the, you know, NASCAR playoffs logo, round of 16, has the yellow banner and spoiler. Spoiler? I said that was so weird. Anyways, on the back, you have Chevy Camaro. You got Benefiting Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Donate at choa.org at slash donate. More pictures of dogs and flowers and such. On the deck lid, you have Napa Auto Parts, and you have, uh... What does that say? The something dogs. Oh, let me see. It is designed by Danny Gamble. Like I said, yeah, if like if it was if, if they were possible, they should have brought her to the track. Or is it I assume it's a girl, I don't know. But they should have brought her to the track. And maybe they did, or maybe I'm just maybe I just not aware that they brought her to the track. But like I said, it seems like if they ran in Atlanta, it'd be a lot easier to bring the person from Atlanta to the Atlanta Motor Speedway than all the way to Darlington. I don't know. I love the bright pink like scribbled number too. That looks really looks cool. <laughs> Like I said, this entire car is just covered in detail. Does have the? Uh, it's got the same dogs on either side. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. It wants to open, which it does not. Guess we're not looking under the hood. Oh well. Obviously, no deck lid. The roof flaps do open, and there's the inner side of the car. If you want to see that. Not a whole lot top of the car like this, but like I said, this is just a really cool special paint scheme. I love when they ever do cars like this. Anyone does cars like this. Because they're just so unique. Like I said, they're just cars that always stand out. And like any collection, even years later, they just stand out in a collection. Like if you have a Chase Elliott collection, you have a bunch of, you know, blue Napa cars and white Napa cars. And then you have a like seafoam green, hot pink and blue Napa car. Like this car will really stand out. Even more so than that black and gold one did with the puzzle pieces. If you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now. 
Like I said, they make over a thousand of them, so I don't think it's gonna get too rare or anything. But Chase Elliott's very strange with diecast. Like they make a lot of all of his diecast, but then there's like a few that always get really rare, where other ones kind of sit around for a while. So who knows? Remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to CircleBDiecast.com, and if you use the code BWAC, you get five dollar off shipping over any order over thirty dollars. Let's go see that if you want anything. But I think Trench, all there is to say, this has been a review of Chase Elliott's Napa Auto Parts Children's Healthcare of Atlanta Chevy. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.